finally, finally, popular Nollywood actor Jim Ike have finally opened up about himself and about his marriage. I believe a lot of you watching this video right now, you thought that Jim Ike is not married. In fact, uh, if I start narrating the story, the history of this young man, you will be like, oh, he have gone through a lot. Initially, when he was acting newly, he was into relationship with Nadia, one of um, Ghanaian um, actor, actor also. So later, the relationship didn't hold when he found um, um, Rita Dominic, which you guys know that recently got married. In fact, a lot of people believed and hoped that Jim Ike and Rita Dominic will settle down and in one of the interview granted to jim ike he was asked why didn't you finally settle down with that with, with the dominic he said that i listened to that interview from the beginning to the mm -hmm. end he said that um Rita Dominic loved him. Rita Dominic was showing him everything. But he himself, you know, then he wasn't ready to marry. He was just using it to have some crews, you know, something like that. By the time he realized that this young lady loved him so much, it was so late for him. So he said, he, in fact, you are going to be hearing from the horse's mouth. Um, Jim Ike has been one of my best actors in as much as most times I don't like the type of role he plays in some movies, but then I love vibrant and uh, action men, men who always uh, speak out. So in this interview, you will just listen and hear by yourself how his life has been. You have to listen to know if he is currently married or not, I'm not going to tell you. You need to listen to it by yourself. You need to know if this popular Nollywood actor have a child or not. This is a secret that I'm not one to leak. You have to listen as I will play the video. Then you come to the comment section to tell me what you think. A lot of Nigerian celebrities, Nigerian Nollywood actors and actresses, if you look at it this time around, um, they are beginning to realize before the fact that they cannot marry themselves, maybe because the marriage cannot um, last or because uh, the woman will not obey them. But thank God that now they have beginning. I think this is exactly what made um, um, Jim Ike not to get married to Rita Dominic because he felt that uh, Rita Dominic is not going to obey him. But let's listen to him and uh, see what happened. I feel so many times it's ridiculous, but nobody sees it because you, you don't understand my pattern. You don't live in my world anymore. Okay? I've had a failed marriage. I've had so many failed things. What? Yeah. <laughs> and then nobody, nobody. I, nobody knows that. I have, I have two, three beautiful kids. So how are you going to know? You can't, you can't follow my pattern. You will never understand. Even people that live in my space don't know how I move. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have my sisters like, hey, where, which ward are you now? And I'll tell them. You have to hear from me. Yeah, I have PAs that don't know. I'm, I was coming here. My PAs are in the office right now. I took an associate from the office, drove me down here. When he, when they call him, they say we're, we're somewhere. They don't know I'm at Chudi. Next thing they're like, okay, you wore this outfit. That means it was at Chudi's today. <laughs> I keep everybody on their toes. That's mm -hmm. how I pray. I, you, my level of unpredictability has to stay true to me. Mm -hmm. I hate to be figured out. Mm. Once you figure me out, I have nothing else to offer. To offer, yes, it's all there. It's, it's, it's on the table. So, so that's the whole. That's the potency in it. That's that's. I refuse to be figured out. I refuse to be tamed. Mm. I refuse to be fixed. That one needs to. <laughs> <laughs> that one needs to. I refuse to be figured out. I refuse to be tamed. No, Jimmy, you have, have to do a master class. <laughs> I never even play. You know, because there's so much. Oh my God, mm. there's so much. Mm. But you know, it will be it will be my practice of me. Mm. You gave me an exclusive. Mm. Jimmy, if I just move on like that, mm. you know, because we were just talking and you mentioned I've had two failed marriages, <laughs> you know, three kids. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. You know, I, I didn't know you had even been married. Mm. I only know your son. Mm. How did you, first, first, obviously, what happened with this marriage? Did you learn anything from Yes. What what caused them to fail and what did you learn from that? Um, I caused them to fail. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not the one that will sit down here and berate anybody for my mistakes. I, the, the first thing they say to boss up, own up. 
Mm. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I was there. Uh, no, there's a part of me that would take the easy route out. Mm -hmm. um, every time I did something mediocre in my life, I always did it when I was emotional. Because I'm extremely, extremely proficient in being deliberate and being strategic about everything I do. Mm -hmm. So every time I failed, it was because I got emotional and then I became mediocre. Then I appealed to the smaller man in me, mm -hmm. the superficial part, mm -hmm. and the part that wasn't emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. I suffered a loss. Um, my mom is like my best friend, my co-partner, my business partner. You know, people don't understand that. When my mom, she left stuff that, like how? The farm, you know, I would not, whenever, my dad is an erudite, he's a very smart man, not highly educated, just extremely smart. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't a good businessman. Mm -hmm. My mom is not extremely, um, you know, educated, mm -hmm. but she is so smart, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, one of those people that were born with native intelligence yeah. that is just annoying. Because I want to play games around her sometimes yes. when I was a kid and she would catch me. Can see you so, come Yeah, so I decided to be telling her the truth. You know, other people go like to their mom, run circles around them and collect money. I go and tell her, mommy, I need money. She would give me because mm -hmm. I didn't play games. But every time I play games, it never mm -hmm. ends well. well. So at the end of the day, when I look, my mom was like, I'm one of those guys that would call my mom to, to a holiday, you know, hang out. It wasn't, it wasn't that, I know they say only sons are very close to their mom. No, but it was a relationship based more on friendship wow. and mutual respect. Wow. I respected her opinion. She wouldn't meddle into my affairs. She allowed me to make all my mistakes. Mm. My dad was always trying to be the discipline. She said, let him let go. Him. You know, so all my mistakes, all my failures. I've never met a human being all my life. And it's just not because every time I call or the press writes something or something, she say, okay, man, mm. I'll tell my version. She said, that's life. How do you feel? Mm. But yeah, you've learned the lesson. So move forward, you know, and I'll move forward. That people always wonder, how does he rise from some of this scandal? How yeah. does he rise from things that is supposed to bury him? Yeah. I had somebody that speak to a spirit part of me that nobody could speak to. I lost that. When I lost my mom, I couldn't find my feet for years. Hmm. There's a lifestyle there, there's an understanding, there's a spirituality, there's a connection that I lost. Hmm. And I just wanted to live my life hmm. outside the world. Because the mistake was already made. It took them 72 hours to tell me I'd lost my mom. mom. Wow. Right in the middle of a BBC interview in London, I just came out. You know, there's always that part of family. One person family, there's a deliverer of bad news. <laughs> so they got this. Even this guy said, I'm not telling him. There's a great chance he won't make it. Mm. So 72 hours, I came home. On the plane, I don't know how I made up. I said, how, what would she have expected of me to take charge? Mm. I came, I took charge. So my baby sister was about to get married. My dad was falling apart. People don't understand what does he want. Mm. I'm a product of love. My parents were so in love with each other. Mm. Imagine a father, and, I mean, your parents woke up and said, you know what, you're stressing us, get out of the house. When I said I was going to be an actor, they said, you know, do you know what it takes for the love of your life to say that? You're stressing my husband. I can't sit here and you wish my husband will have blood pressure. What can, come on, back and go. Get, get, get out, let's, one second. let's breathe. If you survive, you survive. If you don't, we'll, we'll make another kid in our old age. That's what, badass. What's going on? I hated them for that. But I'm telling you later, I saw that this is what I want. Yeah. So you can't show me that. This is the product I came from. And then you, you second ram it mm -hmm. and think I should settle as a compromise. No. Oh, you've seen the example. I've seen what it's like. The, the light in the man's eyes died. Mm -hmm. So I took charge as the head of the family. I couldn't grieve. I couldn't let myself feel. We finished the, um, the village had to be finished because she insisted she was going to be buried. My mom lived in London and Manchester, so we had to bring her back home, bury her there. Saw my sisters through the whole grief process. Started nursing my, you know, after a while they go back to that childlike state. Yes. So I had to, I had to be there, making visits, making calls, being there. I forgot to grieve. I just thought that was what it took to get over it. Mm -hmm. um, just when I was getting over it, my woman was pregnant with my first son. Oh, wow. Then I had quiet space. There was nobody around me. There was nobody to take care of, to take care of anymore because that was my excuse. That was my medium to healing. And then there was nothing all of a sudden and the grief hit me. Mm. The loss hit me. Mm. And I didn't know how to stand. I didn't know, I couldn't sleep days on end. Mm. I was irritative. I wasn't the loving man she met. The, the, mm. I'm, I'm the goofball man. Forget the perception out there. I am the prankster of the family. I'm the guy that starts a laugh in the most serious issue. Mm. They don't invite me for family meetings because I'll start with a joke. 
And then my dad was like, We are tired of the sin. Yeah. So I lost that. I lost my sense of humor. I lost the lion in me. I lost the lead in me. I just gave myself to, to the elements. Mm. And so she suffered for that. Mm. And, and then I became an, I, I became an obsessive dad. Mm. I took everything in me to, to, to my son. I was changing diapers. I was, I was the proper stay home dad, you know? So I took everything to him and left her behind. Hmm. I took all my love and attention, left her behind. I wasn't a, I wasn't a husband. I was, I, was, I was an excellent father and a woeful husband. Hmm. 